How much do you think you make a month from affiliate marketing? Yeah, I did a video of a budget LED light and made $32,000 on one video and about 28,000 in Amazon affiliate commissions. Sean Cannell from Think Media has made well over six figures with YouTube and affiliate marketing. And in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly what he did step by step so you can do it too. Now, quick note you're not going to go from zero to six figures with affiliate marketing in two days. Now I thought this would go without saying, but when I get comments like these, I guess he believes that you'll make six figures in two days. I've got to tell you that you're not going to go from zero to six figures in two days with affiliate marketing. This is going to take consistency and persistence. You're going to need to show up every single day for yourself. Like you show up for that boss that you hate. Hi, my name is Austin Godbolt and I create content to help you turn your YouTube channel into an online business that includes multiple revenue streams. Now I've been creating content on YouTube and on the internet for close to 10 years. And so I know exactly what it takes to create a successful online business. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. Now this video is going to be comprised of three parts. Part number one is going to be how he got started. Part number two is going to be how he found different affiliate programs. And part number three, which is probably the most important, we're gonna talk about the content that you need to create to start generating affiliate commissions. Part number one is picking a niche. And a niche is just an area where you're going to create content. A niche basically means that you're going to pick a category, you're gonna dedicate your entire YouTube channel to that category. For example, if we jump into my computer, Sean Cannell's first niche was actually talking to pastors. He was creating content about Christianity and about his faith. You can see that he's been on YouTube for 14 years and his video from 14 years ago talks about generating church videos, talking about different Bible verses and things of that nature. Now what's really interesting, and he even said it in his in his YouTube video, he said that he was getting a ton of comments from people asking about his setup. How was he able to make these videos? Why did the, why did the video quality look so good? Why was the audio quality so, so good? And through that, he actually discovered what his real niche was. And once he discovered what his real niche was, he never turned back. You can see that he spent a lot of time creating content about his faith, which is great, but he turned that into affiliate commissions, which was which allowed him to make six figures. So the first thing that I want you to do is to go out and decide what you wanna be known for, a niche or a niche, depending on where you are in the country. A niche or niche is just where you're going to focus your efforts. If, for example, you get into Christianity or faith-based, you're not going to start creating content about basket weaving or farming. You are going to identify the questions, the comments, the concerns that the target audience within that space is asking. And there's a bunch of ways to do it, which we can talk about in a future video. But it's very important that you need to pick one niche and stay within that niche for the duration of your YouTube channel because people are going to know, like, and trust you for that topic. And then when you start talking about other topics, you're not going to have that same credibility. So identify one, they all work, and create content and move on to the next step. Step number two in what Sean did was he simply applied to different affiliate programs. Now the affiliate program that he used was actually Amazon Associates. Amazon is the largest affiliate network in the world, but if you don't wanna use Amazon, there are 11,000 other ones that you could jump into. There are affiliate programs of all sizes, Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, and there are tiny affiliate programs as well. I've got an affiliate program in fact. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back into my computer and I'm going to reveal all of the different ways that you can find affiliate programs. If we take a look at my computer, there's a few different things that you can do. You can go to your favorite big box store. For example, you could go to target.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the webpage, and you're going to look for words like partner or affiliates. As you can see here with Target, it says affiliates and partners. You simply would click on this and go through the process. Now, some of these you're going to have to apply and hear back whether you are accepted or, or rejected. Amazon, for example, accepts everyone. That's why so many people use it. But the process is pretty much the same. You're going to apply, you're gonna answer some basic questions, and then you're gonna hear back in a, in a few days. That's one way. A second way that you can do is you can go to their search bar, you can Google uh, the name of the manufacturer and then affiliate program afterwards. For example, this microphone right here is a Blue Yeti microphone. I'm going to type in blue, 
Yeti affiliate program and look and see what pops up. Now, sometimes the manufacturer is gonna have an affiliate program. Uh, sometimes they might, but they, they might not. But as you can see here, Yeti affiliate program, I can click on this and see if it makes sense. Now, unfortunately, this is confused between the blue Yeti microphone and then the, the Yeti coolers. And so this isn't going to work. But a simple thing that you can do is type in the name of the manufacturer and then affiliate program afterward. As you can see, Logitech has an affiliate program. There are all sorts of opportunities. One other thing that you might notice is that this website here, Flex Offers, has the affiliate program for Blue. Flex Offers is an affiliate network. And affiliate networks are essentially the middleman between the affiliate programs and me, the affiliate marketer. You simply would apply to join these different affiliate networks, and then you can apply to the individual affiliate programs afterward. But as you can see here, Blue Yeti does have an affiliate program. Possibly, uh, you'd have to apply and qualify, but that's another way. Another thing you can do is you can go up to the search bar once again, and you can type in music, affiliate programs just like this and you're going to find websites that i put together lists of affiliate programs for the different niches so i can click on here 21 best music affiliate programs and then i can scroll through and potentially apply to each one of these guitar center musician's friend gear for music we could apply to all of these and potentially hear back from one or two and make more money than what's offered at potentially Amazon. You would just scroll through and take a look. You can see Amazon's there, Guitar Center. They pay 6% per sale, 14 day cookie window versus Amazon, 3% per sale, 24 hours. So you could see that Guitar Center might be a better opportunity. If you like Guitar Center, you simply click on the affiliate program and potentially make money. Another thing you could do is you could just go to ChatGPT. So we're gonna go to ChatGPT like this. All right, so what I did is I, t I typed in to ChatGPT, I said, act as an expert in affiliate marketing. You are a super affiliate that has won prizes. I'm looking for affiliate programs for microphones. Please list as many as you can. And as you can see, it listed Amazon, b &H affiliate program, uh, Sweetwater, Guitar Center. As you can see, there are 10 that are listed, Rode Microphones affiliate program and this is actually gonna make your life a little bit easier. So then you can go to these different websites and then you can apply to be an affiliate. It's very important that you once you find it, you can apply. Apply to as many of these as possible. Some of these are going to approve you right away, like Amazon. Some of these might take 30 days, but they pay out a little bit better. If they reject you, still make the content and then reapply. You can reapply 30 days later or 90 days and you could potentially hear back a, a different answer. And then the final thing that you want to do to potentially start making affiliate commissions is you want to create content. Now, you're not just going to create any type of content. What Sean Cannell did is he actually made best X4Y videos, and that's not something I recommend for someone that is just getting started. If you were starting YouTube 10 years ago, then you could do best X4Y videos and it will work out very well. But in my opinion, best X4Y videos are a little competitive right now. Here's what you should do instead. You should make product focused videos. Let's say for example, you wanted to get into the podcasting microphone niche. What I'd recommend that you do first is make videos for this microphone. This is called the Rode Wireless Go 2. And so I would make these types of videos. Rode Wireless Go 2 Review. Rode Wireless Go 2 Unboxing. Best Rode Wireless Go 2 features. Now, what I want you to notice is that I included the name of the product in every one of my videos. And the reason for that is because people that wanna buy this product or are looking for information on this product, they're typing in the name of the product and then the chances are, because we've made five or 10 videos related to this one product, we're gonna show up again and again and again. Now, I'm often asked, do you need to have the product in order to start earning affiliate commissions? And truthfully, you don't. But if you want more trust and credibility, you should have the product in your hand. It looks better if I hold up this product and then show you that I've got it versus showing B-roll of the product to your viewer. Another question that I'll get is, can I do this faceless? Yes, you can certainly do this faceless, but we build trust, humans build trust through looking at other humans. It can work faceless, but I'm always gonna recommend that you show up on camera. So again, you're going to make product focused videos to start. Rode Wireless Go to Setup, Rode Wireless Go to Six Month Review. Is it still the best microphone on the market? 
And then after you've made those videos, the next type of videos you're gonna make are product X versus product Y. So Rode Wireless Go To versus whatever the competitors are. And what you can do is you can go to the search bar and you can type in the name of the product versus, and then Google or YouTube are going to auto fill all of the actual searches that viewers have used. And you can simply make five or 10 videos where you're comparing all of these other products together. Again, this is gonna help you build trust and credibility. Now, before we go forward, I wanna make sure that I let you know, do not, do not, do not under any circumstances, don't make complete guides, don't make walkthroughs. Those are gonna be too competitive. The reason why those are too competitive is you're going to see major players in your niche making those types of videos, like how to start streaming for beginners or the complete guide to streaming. That's gonna be really competitive. And if you're just getting started, you're not going to get any traction. It'll be very difficult for you to get traction. If you're just getting started, I recommend that you focus on products and make five or 10 videos that are product focused. You're gonna build trust, you're gonna build credibility, and you're gonna look like the expert in that space. And then when you start creating other types of videos, you will have built a smaller community that will watch your content. After making product X versus product Y, you can make alternatives, product alternative videos. For example, 10 alternatives to the Rode Wireless Go 2 you can make those videos and potentially start getting more traction. After you have exhausted all of those options, product focus videos, X versus Y and alternatives, then you have my permission to create these types of videos. Best X for Y, so best microphones for podcasting, best microphones for singing, and best X under Y. Best microphones under $25. Best microphones under $300. Now again, you'll be able to go up to the search bar and you'll be able to, to type in these keywords and look exactly and find exactly what your target audience is searching. Now let me just show you real quick to let you see that this is something that people are doing all day and night. So if I go back up to YouTube, I'm going to type in road wire, let's go to, you can see there, if I just hit the space bar, you can see people are looking up how to connect it to their iPhone, setup versus pro versus the DJI Mic 2, connect to iPhone, pairing, setup, not charging. Then what we can do is we can do versus. And you can see for yourself, there are lots of people that are comparing the microphone that I have to the other microphones that are on the market. You can make all of these videos and be seen as the expert in the industry. This is something that you can do. Now, what I'd recommend is that you do two or three videos per week. The more videos you do, the better, because content creation is a skill and skills are built based on repetition. If you show up every day and you make a video every day, you're naturally gonna get better at making videos. Now, if we go back over to my search bar here, I'm going to type in best mic microphones for now look at all of these options best microphones for gaming for recording visuals re recording vocals streaming youtube iphone podcasting and so on now we can do best microphones under like this and once again best microphones under 50 200 300 now i want to caution you that these last two types of content content ideas they're going to be more competitive and so if you make these first, you're gonna run the risk of not getting any views and any traction. However, if you make product focused videos, you're gonna have a better chance of competing. Now, what I ultimately recommend that you do is focus on newer products. Newer products have less videos out about them and there will always be first early adapters that wanna know and learn about those new products. A perfect example is the new iPhone. Right now, there isn't as much information about the new iPhone as there is about the previous iPhone, and so you could start creating content about the iPhone. You can do the same thing with TVs, computers, you name it. New always works better or best. Um, what you have can still work, but just know that if you have a few dollars and you like buying new stuff, it's a great time to start creating content because there isn't as much content about the new stuff as there is about the old stuff. Common sense, but I felt that I needed to say it. Now that you know how Sean Cannell was able to make six figures with affiliate marketing and his YouTube channel, if you wanna learn how to turn your YouTube channel into a full-time business, click the first link in the description where I've got a 60 minute workshop that walks you through the process step by step. And watch this video next because YouTube says it's gonna help you turn your YouTube channel into an online business.